This is the Catholic Daily Journal for Saturday, February the 16th, 2019. The fourth entry in the Roman Martyrology for today has this to say. At Nicomedia, St. Juliana, Virgin and Martyr, under Emperor Maximian, she was first severely scourged by her own father, Africanus, and then made to suffer many torments by the prefect, Evelasius, whom she had refused to marry. Later, thrown into prison, she encountered the evil spirit in a visible manner. Finally, because the fiery furnace and the cauldron of boiling oil could do her no injury, her martyrdom was fulfilled by beheading. Her body was later transferred to Kumi in Campania. How's that for a byline? In 1937 today, the U.S. Patent Office registered patent number U.S. 213-0523A for linear polymedes and their production. The DuPont Company funded the research of Wallace Carruthers, and they sold the product as nylon. Most people think of nylon as a fabric, but it's a plastic which can be processed into a fiber or a film or thermomolded into car parts or food packaging. Nylon was the first successful synthetic polymer, and it was first marketed in toothbrush bristles. By 1939, nylon had made its way into ladies' unmentionables, and quickly ladies' stockings came to be called nylons. It lasted only briefly, though, as all nylon production from 1940 to 1945 or so went to military use, much of it ending up as super-strong parachute cord. It may not seem like it much, but plastic makes the modern world possible. And today, in 1937, Wallace Carruthers started a revolution with it. And finally today, in 1968, in Haleyville, Alabama, a new emergency telephone system came online. One day earlier, when an emergency arose, you had to call the police or the ambulance or the fire brigade at their business number. And that was seven to ten digits, which had to be memorized or posted near the phone. But teaching those numbers to young people or even remembering them in the midst of chaos proved no small challenge. Now, the UK had a system of dialing 999, and Winnipeg in Canada had adopted a similar system. For the US, though, the bell system needed the middle digit of any three-digit code to be a one. And, of course, the rotary phones made one a better choice than nine. And so on February the 16th, 1968, Alabama Speaker of the House Rankin Fight placed the first ever 911 call from Haleyville City Hall to Congressman Tom Bevel at the city's police station. Bevel was accompanied by Gallagher and Alabama Public Service Commissioner Director Eugene Bull Connor. The phone used to answer the first 911 call, a bright red model, is now in a museum in Haleyville, with a duplicate phone still in use at the police station. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.